Then I call the Honourable Member for Holt. Deputy Speaker, Deputy Speaker, today I'm here to speak about the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Recently I had the pleasure of attending an annual Australia Day multi-faith dinner hosted by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Association Victorian branch at the Beit Us Salam Mosque in Langwarren, an event which celebrates Australia Day and the coming together of people from different faiths and different cultural backgrounds. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community holds peace, reconciliation, harmony, love and mutual respect as their key values and, importantly, promotes open interfaith dialogue to remove misunderstanding and to achieve interreligious harmony. They have worked tirelessly to convey the peaceful message of Islam and to discredit supposed Islamic justifications for terrorism or extremism. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Association has as its motto, love for all and hatred for none. And they are deeply committed to upholding this doctrine. Despite this, the Ahmadiyya community face persecution in many countries around the world, including Indonesia, Pakistan, Malaysia, Bangladesh and Saudi Arabia, where they are considered non-Muslim and as a result face serious breaches of their human rights, such as not having the right to vote and having their lives at constant risk because of their moderate beliefs. In October last year, I had the pleasure of meeting with His Holiness Hadrat Mizra Masru Ahmad, the first Khalifa of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community, who expressed in his speech and powerful presentation the peaceful beliefs of the Ahmadiyya community and their enduring commitment to support Ahmadiyyas around the world and the communities within they live. Globally, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has built over 15,000 mosques, 500 schools and 300 hospitals. It has translated the Holy Quran into 70 languages and propagates the true meaning of Islam and the message of peace and tolerance through the internet, print and a 24-hour satellite television channel. The Ahmadiyya community is heavily involved in social welfare activities for the benefit not only of their members but of the broader community. They run a number of schools and medical facilities across Africa and Asia. But they also have a very powerful role and influence in Victoria. Last week I met with the president, uh, with the, um, the president we couldn't actually make it, uh, Safar uh, Chowdhury, and a raft of other uh, important um, as uh, Ahmadi community members. The Victorian branch of the, uh, the Ahmadi Muslim Association is the largest chapter in, of, uh, in Australia, and it's actively involved in supporting the broader community. These are people, um, Deputy Speaker, they are putting their money where their mouth is, reaching out, trying to connect across the faiths and across the community, promoting tolerance and understanding. And unfortunately for their trouble in other countries that I've mentioned, they're being persecuted, literally being killed. And uh, President Obama has mentioned this in a prayer breakfast speech in Washington. They're a great community. They're a community we should be holding and promoting. And I congratulate them on their endeavours and look forward to working with them in the future. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.